Uh, greetings, greetings, fellow grade 10s. It's Mr. Shajari here. Welcome to Back to Basics. Look, what we are doing now is basically we are doing, you know, your application of your trigonometry, which is going to be uh, on 2D and 3, uh, you know, D shapes, right? Now, uh, this is the past paper from the Gauteng province. This was written in 2023, right? So, uh, now, what is it that we can do now from here? The question states that now the diagram below shows a spot uh, light at point B, which is uh, mounted 12 meter uh, directly above point C uh, at the front of the field. Now, the spot, uh, the spotlight uh, swing 44,3 degrees from the vertical uh, illuminated uh, another point, right? To illuminate another point D, the midpoint of what of your AC, right? Now let's see the first question. Now the first question require us to calculate what is going to be your DC, right? Now in order for us to apply or rather to uh, to find out what is going to be our DC, we are going to start here firstly, right? Now the line that we are looking for it's only this one, right? And here we are going to apply what we call our trigonometrical ratios. And when we apply our trigonometrical ratios, remember we have three trigonometrical ratios, your so, uh, which is for your sine, your ka, and also your towa, right? Now, what is it that you are going to do now from here? You are going to start here. Uh, you are going to start by firstly looking in terms of now, since this is the side that you have, or since this is the angle that you have, right? Now, what is the relation that you are having? The DC that they are looking for, it is opposite. Can you see that this is opposite, right? So this is opposite. Now, what you are given here as your BC is what it is IJ, uh, it is going to what it's going to be IJ said, right? So which means now which trigonometrical ratios now can we use here? So here we are going to use your tan. So you're going to say tan of 44,3 degrees is equals to now what is the opposite side? The opposite side it's DC. Uh, over what it's towa so the adjacent side it's going to be your bc right and now now that you are having that what is it that you are going to uh do then now after here you are going to say look now uh, you are going to substitute right and as you substitute what is it the best thing that you can do now you are going to say your tan uh, of 44,3 degrees is equals to what is your dc now uh, rather, your DC is what you are looking for, and your BC is your 12 meters, right? Now, we are going to then cross multiply, which means the DC is going to be given by 12 tan of 44,3 degrees. How to get? So, now that's going to be your what? That's going to be your DC. And as soon as you get your DC, then you are going to plug this in your calculator. When you plug this in your calculator, the DC that you are going to have, this is the same as 11,71 meters, right? So this is going to be the same as 11,71 uh, meters. So basically, that's what you are going to have. How to get? So that's going to be the value of your DC. Now, uh, from here, now let's look at your 7.2. Right now that we know that our DC is 11,71 meters. Now let's look at our uh, 7.2. Now 7.2, they want us to calculate uh, through how many degree the spotlight must be swing in order to eliminate uh, what point A in exam uh, or rather in other words, they want us to find out what is going to be our angle theta, right? Right now, they want us to find out what is going to be your angle of theta in here. Now, to find out the angle of theta, what is it that you are going to do now from here? Now, uh, the best way of finding out the angle of theta uh, is starting this route, right? Now, for an example, if you can know what is going to be the totality of this length, right? Now, and the best way of knowing the totality of this length, it is starting from here. It is knowing that now our AC, AC is going to be given by what? AC is going to be given by uh, your what? AC is given by AD. Uh, then this is AD plus what? Uh, it's going to be AD uh, and also plus what? Plus DC. But luckily now we know that AD, we know that AD uh, is equals to DC because 
this one we are given, right? We are having uh, something that tells us that these two lines are equal, right? So which means also here you are having 11,71, right? So which means now if that's the case, so which means now from here you are going to say, look, my AC is going to be given by 11,71 plus 11,71. Then what is going to be this one right now? So now uh, this is same as 23, comma what? Comma 42 meters. That's going to be the what? That's going to be uh, your distance of what? Of your AC. Are we together? So that's going to be the distance for your AC. Now, now that we have uh, the length of the AC, which is 22, uh, 23, 43. Now, what else then now are we going to do now? So, which means now we can go back now and calculate this entire angle, right? We can calculate this entire angle because now we have this side, which is going to be the opposite side. And we also have the adjacent side, right? So, now we can focus in triangle uh, a, B, C, right? When you're looking at that bigger triangle, A, B, C, what is it that you're going to do now? You're going to say, look, in triangle A, B, C, what's the first thing that you're going to do? You are going to find out what is going to be your turn of what? This, you are going to find out what is going to be the turn of your angle B, right? Your angle B being the entire angle, right? So now, uh, your turn of your angle B is going to be the opposite side. The opposite side, it's 20. Uh, 3 comma 4 2 and then this is going to be divided by what is going to be uh the other side here the other side it's going to be same as what 20 uh 12 right it's 12 meters right and now when you do that which means this is going to be your b uh your angle b is going to be same as shift turn of uh 23 comma 4 2 uh, divide by 12 right now what is going to be the b now from here so the b that you are going to have here this is same as 62 comma 87 degrees 62 comma 87 degrees right now so that's going to be this entire angle but what they are looking for it's only the theta here right and you know that when you're saying uh now your angle b is given by what it's given by theta plus uh, plus 44, uh, 44, 3 degrees. Now, which means now if you are looking for your theta, you are going to say, look, your theta is going to be same as 62, uh, 87 degrees, subtract 44, 3 degrees. Oh, it's okay. And then now what is going to be the angle of theta that you're going to find? Now, this is going to be same as 18, 57 degrees, right? Uh, 57 degrees so what does this mean which means now the spotlight will need to swing right uh the spotlight will need to swing what the spotlight uh will uh need uh, to swing how many degrees uh to swing uh this will need to swing 18 comma 57 degrees i would okay hopefully all of this makes sense now and thank you very much